Chevrons are super popular right now, so I'm going to show you how to make a Chevron in Adobe Illustrator in just a few seconds. So the first thing you want to do is go to the bottom here and go to the fill and just click that to make sure it's selected and then hit the none button which looks like a red line going through a white box to remove the fill and then double click the stroke and pick the color you want your chevron to be for this video I'm just going to choose black once you have that completed go back to your toolbar and you want to select the line segment tool and the shortcut is backslash by default on your keyboard uh, while holding down shift click and drag and what holding down shift does is it makes sure it's perfectly horizontal so just click and drag and let go when you're ready and it's the right length for you uh, next I'm just going to change the stroke if you don't have your stroke window up go to window and then stroke kind of near the bottom here and just make it an appropriate stroke for how thick you want your chevron to be I'm going to select 40 since I'm doing this pretty large for the purposes of this video and now with the selection tool and that's V on your keyboard by default make sure you highlight this line and then while holding down alt start to drag down and then hold down shift and shift once again will make sure that this goes perfectly down so you have a nice vertical chevron and get it to the length you think you want it to be and then just let go uh, you can kinda guess a little bit I'll show you how near the end of this video how to kinda adjust the chevron once you're fully completed to make it longer or shorter as needed but you want to get it pretty close to what you think it's going to be so when we actually fill in the middle section here it looks appropriate next once again with that selection uh, the selection tool selected you want to highlight both of these lines and then go to effect distort and transform and then at the bottom here we're going to select zigzag you want to make sure preview is checked in the lower left hand corner here and also under points, make sure corner is selected and not smooth. And next we're just going to pick a size and ridges per segment that we think looks good for our chevron. Size is basically how tall the chevrons are and ridges per segment is how many. So this already looks pretty darn good to me. Maybe I'll just make it 11. And you can make it look however you think looks best for what you're trying to do. But here's my settings for now. I'm just going to hit OK. And while these are both still selected, you're going to want to go, and what we're going to do here is actually fill in the rest of the chevrons here evenly spaced and do it in a really quick way using blend. So we're going to go to object and then blend, and then you want to select blend options. From this menu, under spacing, we want to go down, click whatever it is, and make sure it's set to specified steps. And specified steps, like this number eight, there will be eight evenly spaced in between here if that's what we select. So I'm just going to leave it at 8 for right now and hope it kind of looks good and hit OK. As you can see it does not apply the effect so we have to go back in and do that. To apply the effect we're just going to go back up to object and then blend and this time we're going to hit make at the top. And as you can see we very very quickly made a really nice looking chevron. Once you're used to doing this you can do this in just a few seconds and very very quickly kind of make changes and kind of get it looking the way you want it to look. At any point in time you can use the selection tool and just select over it and change the color of that stroke. So if you want it to be a blue for example we can just go ahead and do that. And also if you use the direct selection tool which is A as a keyboard shortcut by default, if you just kind of widely select over the bottom line here so that both of these two bottom points are selected but not the two top points, we can hold shift and kind of adjust this as needed to change the look or style of our chevron to be longer or shorter as needed. It's just a nice way to you know make slight adjustments if you find that your chevron doesn't quite perfectly fit what you were trying to do. But hopefully this video was helpful for you and if it was please like and favorite and if you want to see more videos like this consider subscribing. I'll try to keep making cool content for you to see. Thanks so much for watching.